Welcome to Dr. Jester Runt, and I'm gonna run to. Ah, fuck. More about Stellar Blade. Hey, it's kind of like Gamergate 2 when it was at the beginning. It was non stop with these goddamn fucking games journalists. They are. unfortunately a bit of an issue. They tend to lie and get triggered because it's in their nature to, well, lie and get triggered. After all, they, they, they were dreaming and spreading propaganda, writing opinion pieces and lies in the Washington Post or, I don't know, CNN. They were really dreaming of writing. Here is how Orange Man bad is really bad. Writing articles like that to end our Pulitzer Prize and things, but instead they ended up becoming games journalists. So they hate games, now they have to write about games, and we get opinions and articles quite like this from Forbes. Stellar Blade is now the highest user score PS5 game ever, which is a bit EXCESSIVE! Why does he think it's excessive? If the game is good, and it has a beautiful character that doesn't make us, uh, makes us want to, well, use bleach in our eyeballs, or makes us question, am I playing a man, or is that a woman, or makes us ponder what they were trying to achieve, or if the technology today is getting worse instead of getting better when they design female and woman to look like men. I think it's uh, it's one of those rare games where it was back in the 90s and early 2000s, hey, maybe even 2010s-ish, thereabouts. I'm still thinking like The Witcher and things like that, in which you, your side character or yourself as a player, has, um, well, the grace of getting graced by a beautiful woman on the screen, like uh, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, Heavy Metal, uh, pff, I'm thinking many more out there, and they would dress like, well, like they were women, and they would look like women, even with polygons. But anyway, let's read, shall we? Oh, fuck me, I forgot to completely disable this. Okay, now done. Right. Let's go and read it right now. <clears throat> Here. There is the list of, of the grades that they have here. Right, it stands Stellar Blade is the highest user score in PS5 of the entire generation on Metacritic, elevating it above its strong but not stunning 82 meta score from critics. Remember, the reason the, meta, the critics rated it at very low or took out grades, which could lead it to 9.2 or more, is because they got triggered by Eve. They saw Eve, kind of like near Automata and Bayonetta, and they got triggered by it because they are afraid of the female form. They are afraid of the female body. So they cannot see the female body without getting utter triggered. So they actually ended up taking out numbers, the grade, and by positive score to a bit more negative, despite being positive, because of her body. It's extraordinary, isn't it? How these games journalists hate women. They try to champion women, but uh, you just turn around or look around and the first thing they do is, well, is hate on women. Anyway, let's continue. It's currently at a 9.2 boost out of 10, which, uh, yes, does tie it with Cyberpunk 2077, a Ultimate Edition, and Resident Evil 4 Separate Ways Expansion. However, I'm going to consider it number one, not because it was a 9.3 as of yesterday, ing indicating it's a high end uh, of the 9.2, but because it has uh, 2,598 reviews in, compared to Resident Evil 4 333 and Cyberpunk's 81 reviews. 
It is way harder to maintain that high of a score with thousands of reviews. <laughs> That rearranged all the time PS5 list from what from when I wrote about it last week. You can see that it made a huge difference. The reason, for instance, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is actually in the list at this high grade, it's because it was basically a game made for games journalists on the left, in which they even managed to get the flag wrong from Puerto Rico and Cuba. Uh, and they actually hired Sweet Baby Inc. to actually make sure they don't make that type of mistake. But yeah, yeah. But before we continue, here is the trailer. I'm back, baby, yeah. Right. Okay, so continuing at this retarded article. <sighs> continuing. Um, well, I said last time that I did not begrudge the game its higher user score. This is a bit excessive. I disagree because this idiot here is literally just focusing on the, on the user score, especially because, remember, the game's urinalist actually docked the score for Stellar Blade because it had a beautiful woman as the main character. That's the reason why it didn't receive a higher score from the critics. Even this guy here admits it's a very fun game. Here is what he says. I really don't like the game and it's very fun. A solid 8 out of 10 and I enjoyed it so much. I am 50 hours in in the middle of an NG plus playthrough. I am sure a lot of people feel the same. Mm. Here it is, one of the, the examples he used, or the reason why he's triggered. Well, one off. And yet, I can't help but acknowledge that some of this is due to the culture are war angle here. With a certain segment of the voting population giving it a 10 for what it represents with an unabashedly sexy character as its lead. Something that some of these players think is not seen enough in the games now. Don't make me pull out a long list of how that's not true. Yep, yeah, do please take... Come on, pull that long list. Tell us. Tell us we haven't... Uh, show us examples of games like that that was re uh, released recently. Especially AAA games that were released or done by mainstream studios. Go on, I'll wait. Yes, tell us. Go on, pull the list. Oh, right, you're not going to pull out the list, are you? Because you're afraid that it does not fit the exact arguments being shown here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fucking games, urinalists. And you can see he's actually triggered because of she is beautiful. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. It, 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 these people are all a bunch of fucking hypocrites. You know what? One of the reasons this should also get a 10 is because it, it tells their game's urinalist to go fuck themselves. Indirectly. Yeah. No, I don't think you're solely responsible for this high score, certainly, but now you need is that sort of the edge to push the great reviews into now time territory with a few more points. It's easier to peruse the reviews and pull out phrases like, ah, no-ock nonsense, and literally, mm, 
how you like that, wokey people? And say it deserves Game of the Year like Hogwarts Legacy did, which didn't even got nominated because of some woke yeah, shit. Mm, all of this is about 30 seconds of searching. You yeah, that reveal, so yeah, certainly a good chunk of reviews contain some sort of sentiment like this. Games Urinalists, go fuck yourself! Right, again. Sorry, and then again, this is a very good game. It deserves high score, but yes, part of this definitely some users trying to stick it to the critics and attempt to hold it up as a victory of woke journalists and other developers in the industry. We all see if these numbers stick over the long term. <laughs> well, yeah, you just need to ask your people at recent era to go there and the grade will obviously go down a bit. But after all, you people are absolutely one of the idiots who reaches to the level of absurdity. Here is a good example on Dexerto. Twitch streamer offers $30,000 to make man disappear over stellar great disagreement. This is an up from the 20000 they offered a few days ago. This is absurd for a fucking video game that it shows a beautiful woman. Holy shit. But then again, Games journalists, the left, are all a bunch of filthy fucking hypocrites. Here's an example that I used yesterday, and it fits here like a glove. Kotaku. I demand to see Oda's dick and balls in Street Fighter V. This is allowed. This is completely allowed. This is completely fine for these goddamn fucking morons. But the moment you have a beautiful woman who doesn't do anything beyond wearing some revealing outfit, they throw a temper tantrum. Here's another example of Kotaku that I used yesterday. Kotaku, our bodies get three slightly odd jiggle physics for dicks and balls. And they are celebrating over it. Especially a great <coughs> a game in which the main character one moment. In which the main characters, uh, not the main character, the male characters uh, look nice or pleasing. Meanwhile, the female characters all look like, well, monsters, which required, well, beautifying mods to be able to be palatable for the player. Games Urinalists, they're all a bunch of filthy fucking hypocrites. Hypocrites. Hypocrites, and I say this to all games urinalists, almost all of them, fuck off. Now, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night, and remember, fuck off, YouTube, fuck off.